Hello, welcome to Selection Fish Hub, where you get everything fish farming and aquaculture. This happens to be the first series of our fish farm adventure. Like I told you in our last video, that we are going to be taking you on a series called Fish Farm Adventure, where we are going to tell you everything you need to know about starting an integrated fish farm from scratch to finish. So an integrated fish farm is a type of fish farm where you farm your fish with zero waste. What I mean by zero waste is that everything that is in this fish farm is going to serve this fish farm and nothing is going to go out as waste. The Wopia plant is the smallest aquatic plant on earth. It actually have a protein content of 40%. Duckweed is actually the family name. Why Wofia is the species name. So this Wofia plant, I got them from Nigeria. And as you can see, um, we have the paint rubber containing the Wofia and we also have the bow containing the Wofia plant. And we are going to grow this particular Wofia plant in permanent abundance in this particular tank. As you can see, this tank is used for cage culture. It's actually spoiled. As you can see, you can see the opening here is spoiled and it's actually a waste. So I got it from the riverside where we do the tilapia culture in the cages. So I'm going to be using this tank. I'm going to cut it open and I have my materials here, my saw, and I have my cutter also, which I'm going to use to cut this particular plastic tank open. And uh, one uh, beautiful thing about this wolfia plant is you can use it to feed your fish. You can use it to feed your pig. You can use it to feed your poultry animal, your turkey, your chickens, and so on. In this particular facility, we have the space for the pig. We have the space for the goat. And we also have the space for the chicken. And you are going to see all these things work out in this particular farm site. I'm going to take you on the journey of all the process, how you can be able to grow this particular wolfia plant in a permanent abundance. You can also call this particular wolfia plant spotless water meal. That is the common name. Okay. I got this particular wolfia plant from our farm in Nigeria and actually got them in this water containers. We have the Aquafina container and we have the Eva container. So these particular brands are indigenous in Nigeria. I don't think they are, you can get any of them here in Ghana, but I got them from Nigeria and they stayed in this container for three days before arriving here in Ghana. And uh, what happened is that we, ha we got at least 50% of them healthy and they survived and they're already dominating this, the containers here. So I want to create more space for them so that they can get to grow more in this particular container. Stay tuned and anticipate for more videos on fish farm adventure please remember to like subscribe and uh, turn on your notification button so that anytime we share video you will get the notification ask all your question in the comment section this is the only way you support us and we'll do more videos and show you how you can make money from fish farming using all the resources you have available around you we are succeeded in cutting our containers and we are going to fill it all of them up with water to make sure we have enough volume of water to um, grow our wolfia plant. As you can see, we have our submersible pump here. This submersible pump is actually a 0.5 horsepower pump that we use to pump in the water. So what happens is that this pump has a valve. When you pull it down, the pump stops working and when you raise it up, the pump start draining water. We actually left this uh, pond to have a, a low volume of water so we can get as much nutrient rich water as possible. See the way we pump out water. So if you like this pump and you want it, you send us a DM, click on the link in our description and we get this 0 0.5 horsepower we have other uh, pump capacity we have the one horsepower and so on so we can get it for you so we have succeeded in filling all our containers with water and we are about to 
introduce the wolf here as you can see we just have very little quantity of wolf here however we are going to share them little in all these different containers we have the bowls in here um, we have this particular bowl this bowl is a aluminium bowl we brought it inside so that uh, you don't get to conduct much heat and the, the wolf here and the water don't get heated up just going to receive little amount of sunlight it's important to know that the wolfia plant also needs sunlight for it to grow or at least the light of the day so we also kept these other smaller bowls here so that uh, they don't get heated up because the volume of water in it are not much so it's important that you keep any bowl that you are using for your wolfia culture where the water will not get heated up then we kept the bigger drums that we have to put into to outside where it will get partial sunlight. But then we have bigger volume of water here. The water won't get heated up. So we have our little quantity of wolf here. here. We are going to share them. We just got a few of them. And watch me. I just have to introduce just very little of it here. This very little quantity is going to grow and dominate this water space it have the ability of reproducing its mass in every 24 hours what it means is that with this little quantity of wolf here i've introduced into this water body and this container in a space of 24 hours you are still going to get this equal volume in about a week time we are going to have this container dominated with wolf here in any moment from now, you can start placing your order for your wolf here and you get to culture them in permanent abundance in your farm. So you just get to introduce this also. You just have to put a little quantity of the wolf here and you know this time time you dominate and it will dominate the water space. See, so, and uh, you can add more to this. We just have to share them across all our containers so that we can get much of it in little or no time. This wolfia plant needs a surface area. The volume of water is not important. We just need a big surface area where it can get to grow and dominate the surface area of the container. This will fancy plant actually sleep on top of the water. You don't need to worry about whether it's sinking or not. You will definitely come up to the water surface and start reproducing and regenerating. Get from here and introduce in these other containers. So we put in this also. Digest that. This wolfia plant don't have any special skill. You don't need any special skills to grow them. It's just as easy as that. So we add the remaining to this order. So can you see? The process is just very easy. So we need the surface more, more than the other one. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe, turn on your notification button, and share this video. This is the only way you can support us. Anticipate for more videos.